I'm Major Rob Morris. I'm the Battalion S3 for the 385th Military Police Battalion located at Fort Stewart, Georgia. Uh, and we work with uh, the 3rd Infantry uh, Division there. So we're here at the uh, C2 Fusion Cell for the Chadian uh, Military. And uh, this uh, location uh, is going to be the future hub for the synchronization of intelligence and operations uh, for the Chadian forces. So this brings to get this place will bring together uh, operations uh, and intelligence so that uh, we can have better courses of action uh, to present to both the president and the commanders within the Chadian military. So the overall class structure is started with uh, the military decision making process. So one, we're giving them a process to follow here within the fusion center. The other part is a series of classes on intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Uh, they received those over the past uh, two weeks. Uh, they also received uh, detailed classes on how to conduct the intelligence preparation of the battlefield uh, process. Uh, that was conducted by uh, 39th BEB personnel out of uh, Fort Campbell uh, from the military intelligence company. Uh, and so what we are looking to do is uh, give them a process to develop courses of action uh, that are feasible and acceptable and suitable uh, to present to the, both their commanders as well as uh, their national decision-making authority uh, so that uh, they can adequately defeat any type of enemy forces that either come into Chad or that they are assisting other countries with uh, outside of Chad. Well, what this will help with is that they can synchronize intelligence here with operations on the ground uh, so that they can provide better information uh, as well as courses of action to those operators on the ground. You'll see here in a couple of hours when you move out to the training site in Kundul, uh, the training that's going on with one of our military police platoons in which they are providing training to the special anti-terrorist group, the SAT-G, uh, to both their basic trainees as well as to their red shirt instructors. Uh, and the two processes are linked because operators on the ground require good succinct plans and good processed uh, intelligence in order to be successful against enemy threat courses of action. So uh, they did have a knowledge base from a series of courses that they may have taken either in the United States or courses that they received here through other uh, security cooperation efforts that already occurred over the past few years here in Chad. What we're helping them do is provide a firm foundation over a month-long time period while we're here on ground in the uh, military decision-making process as well as the different processes that are out there for gathering intelligence, uh, how to synchronize intelligence platforms, for example, their Cessna 208 platforms that they have, how to synchronize those and understand their capabilities, uh, and then how to develop synchronization matrices so they know how long those aircraft can fly for and when they need to insert other capabilities uh, to gather intelligence. Uh, that way they have a sustainable uh, framework uh, that can endure against a, a larger threat than uh, just small pockets of uh, insurgencies. So you have to have both a system, a process, and the equipment, and they have to be linked together. As you took footage from across the room here, you saw that there's a lot of uh, computer equipment. Uh, we've actually gotten the computers out, and they're actually utilizing them to do a portion of the military decision-making process and the, and the uh, ISR process as well. But you have to have a framework and doctrine to work from that links to the equipment. Otherwise, the equipment will not get properly utilized. And that's what we're helping them do here in this fusion center, so that once all of the radio systems and computer systems and ISR systems are working, that they can have this fusion center actually linked together and processing of information correctly, and then getting it out to those guys on the ground so they can execute off of it. So we're building Chadian solutions to Chadian problems. So giving them both the system and the equipment is going to result in us having to spend less time here in the future. Uh, but if you don't give the system and the process and the equipment and link them together, then yes, we have to spend more time here uh, on the ground. Yes, exactly. So we are empowering them to solve their problems. So this, the military decision-making process is a problem-solving process, which they are grasping very well. So they are finding ways to solve their own problems, uh, and we're giving them the tools to do so. Our, we are definitely making a strong difference here, both here at the C2 fusion cell as well as out at the site in Kundul. Uh, we're making stronger operators that can go up to the border regions and be successful and close with and destroying the enemy. And we're creating strong planners uh, and intelligence personnel here in the fusion cell 
so that the two processes can be linked together. So I think military police are uniquely uh, capable of, a, of conducting this type of operation. So military police uh, possess a certain set of skills uh, that are what I would call interpersonal skills. So our soldiers uh, work every single day on the roads of Fort Stewart, Georgia and interact with the local populace. So we automatically have the capability to interact with the host nation uh, and be able to form strong relationships uh, with them. Our soldiers are conducting real world operations every single day when they're conducting law and order at our post camps and stations and they are able to conduct police intelligence operations every day. So they understand the basics of, of human uh, whatnot. We may not have SIGINT experts, which we brought the, the MICO in for. We may not have ISR experts, which we brought the MICO in for. But we do have experts in conducting uh, basic interpersonal operations on the ground every single day. And it helps us uh, here in forming relationships with our host nation counterparts as we're leading them through the military decision-making process. And military police are qualified to do this uh, type of operation uh, in C2 fusion cells. We've been utilized uh, uh, both during uh, operations in Afghanistan and in Iraq uh, to uh, run tactical operation centers. Uh, and uh, in our decisive action mission, we often are called upon to run uh, tactical operation centers in the uh, consolidation area and the rear area. No, we're looking forward to uh, the final end state uh, of both here uh, at the C2 fusion cell and out at the site in uh, Quindul. Uh, we're very excited to be here in Chad, uh, and uh, we're looking forward to getting back home in the near future.